And the student organization that I'm a part of is uh, Aggie Lemon Racing. And I really started it because I, I wanted to compete in a race in, in 24 Hours of Lemons and I figured that starting an organization here at a and would be the best option. The original reason it was for, for the competition mainly, but it's evolved into something greater really to teaching students about how to work on their own cars and a lot of engineering aspects relating to car mechanics and all that sort of stuff. And I know the car culture is a big component here at Texas A&M and it's been cool getting a lot of car people to help us out and just really, that's how I've made a lot of friends within the organization. So the reason why I joined the uh, Aggie Lemons is because I've always been a huge car guy and I've always wanted to be a part of uh, a racing team and that's always been my dream and Lemons is probably the best way to do it. I met Alberto uh, when he came as part of a new student organization informational uh, in summer of 2021 and then subsequently worked with him for about five months on the organization's uh, startup process. So as you might imagine, the name caught my attention. Wasn't sure whether we were talking about racing physical lemons down like a chute because that wouldn't be crazy truly with our student orgs here uh, or whether it was lemon vehicles, that sort of thing. So the 24 Hours of Lemons is an endurance race for cars that are uh, worth less than $500. And for this car, we got it for $400 on Facebook Marketplace, I think. We, got it, we brought it up from Houston, and from there we've been prepping it. The type of people that compete in the 24 Hours of Lemons range from amateurs like us to professional race teams. It's a lot of older guys, really, just who have the money to do it, which is why, again, with A&M and the Association of Former Students, we're able to get some students interested and also be able to compete in that. So for the race, it was actually very stressful, very, very stressful because the week before the race, we were not done with the car. It, it still had a lot of things to do. Uh, we were really running out of money. Like we had no money at all. Uh, we were using our own uh, funds. At the end of the day, uh, the, the Association of uh, Former Students, uh, the, you know, they helped us out monetarily. And if we hadn't had that money, we would not have been able to pay for the registration and just even the race. Student organizations will come to us for a, a variety of reasons. Oftentimes it's they hit a roadblock. They kind of run out of their own resources and their resources with their advisors and need some extra help. And so when we talk about funding from the association, really those student leaders are able to fund the activities that they're wanting to do and that doesn't come out of students' pockets. Um, so it's not something that inhibits their involvement on campus. Uh, so it, it's a really neat opportunity. For students wanting to start an organization, go ahead. It, again, it's my, it was my dream, just through hard work. I, I did it, really, and I couldn't have done it by myself. I have a whole team of people helping me, and really, if you're passionate about something, you'll find a way to do it.